It is Grumpy Rabbit. He is not happy. What rotten luck! My boat sank, and now I'm a castaway on this miserable little island. Oh, if only there was something to eat. <coughs> oh, a duck. <coughs> Ahoy there, Grumpy Rabbit! Mrs. Duck has my boots, and she won't give them back. What? Those yellow boots? Yes, my golden boots. Oh, don't worry, Pepper. Mrs. Duck has nowhere to go. She's surrounded. <coughs> oh, ducks can fly. <coughs> Mrs. Duck is flying higher and higher, all the way to the moon. The moon? Now I'll never get my boots back. <coughs> don't worry, Pepper. Ducks can't really fly to the moon. Why ever not? I've flown to the moon before. Mind you, I was in a rocket, which helped a bit, I suppose. Rocket? Yup. That rocket on the next island. Built it myself, all out of bits and bobs of scrap metal. Wow! A real space rocket! Grampy Rabbit, can you fly us to the moon? Um, I'm sure Grampy Rabbit has lots of important things to do. Of course we can go, Pepper. Captain Dog, sailors to my rocket. Aye, aye, Captain Rabbit. Rocket. <laughs> George loves space rockets. Are you sure it's safe? Safe as houses. Uh, not that houses are made for hurtling through space. We don't need that, mate. Uh, I really don't think Pepper's boots will be on the moon. Nonsense! I... Mrs. Duck flew to the moon, and that's where we're going. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> And her friend have landed on the moon. I can jump really high. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> is it magic? Not exactly, Pepper. It's because the moon is much smaller than the Earth. In simple terms, gravity equals g times m divided by radius times 2, where g is the gravitational constant. So it's magic? Yes, it's magic. Right, let's find that duck. Looking on the moon, looking everywhere. Looking, looking high, high, looking low, low for the golden boots. Are they in a crater? No! Are they on a mountain? No! no. Looking on the moon for the golden boots. <sighs> How will we ever find my boots? <laughs> Let's ask at the shop. Shop? Where? You don't get shops on the moon. You do. Look. Postcards, ice cream, buckets and spades. It is Miss Rabbit's gift shop. Oh, hello. Thank goodness someone's turned up. I haven't had a customer on the moon for years and years. Miss Rabbit, have you seen a duck in boots? A duck on the moon? That's a bit unlikely if you ask me. Yes, ducks flying to the moon? Complete nonsense. Why did you tell us to come here, Mummy Pig? What? Uh, but I didn't. I... Grumpy Rabbit in Space. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we have a special treat. Grumpy Rabbit is here to talk about space rockets. Rocket! George loves space rockets. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit has a very loud voice. What have I got here? A rock. Yes, 
but not any old rock. I found it on the moon. Ooh. My dad sells rocks in packs of five. Yes, thank you, Freddy. You don't need to go to the moon to get them. You do if you want moon rock. Grumpy Rabbit, how did you go to the moon? I flew in a rocket. It's a bit small. This is just a model. The rocket I went in was ginormous. <laughs> Do you all know how to count to five? Yes! One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. But when you go into space, you count backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. And then you have to shout blast off as loudly as possible. Blast off! I can't hear anything. Blast off! Vroom! There I was, flying through space. And then I landed on the moon! It was so beautiful up there, I was lost for words. That sounds nice. Did you know you could jump really high on the moon? Oh! How high? As high as a house! Why can you jump so high on the moon? Um. The gravitational pull is smaller on the moon. Oh, yes, that's it. They're quite the clever clogs, aren't we? Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. I was a little bit lonely up there with just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... What's the most exciting bit, Grumpy Rabbit? <coughs> I can't hear you. <coughs> Why has he stopped talking? Oh, dear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. I had better ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Dr Brown Bear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. Is that such a bad thing? Yes. He's giving an important talk about space rockets to the children. Oh, in that case, I'll be straight there. <laughs> Hello, Grampy Rabbit. I hear you've lost your voice. <coughs> Say ah, please. <coughs> I see, yes, a very serious case of losing a voice. Too much shouting, I imagine. Let's see if a little bit of medicine helps. Open wide. Try saying, ah, now. <coughs> Louder. <coughs> That's better! <laughs> Not back to normal! Back getting there! Hooray! Now, where was I? You were just about to tell us the most exciting bit. Oh, yes! The most exciting bit was I wrote a song. Uh, would you like to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please! I got up this morning and all I could see was the moon and the stars. The moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars. <laughs> Gym class. Pepper and her friends are going to the gym today. <laughs> Let's check you've all got your gym kits on. Pedro is wearing a superhero costume. Pedro, where is your gym kit? It's at home. I thought it was dressing up day. Follow me, children. This is the gym, where mummies and daddies come to exercise and enjoy themselves. Are you all having fun? Yes! yes. Lots, Lots of fun. fun! Your gym teacher for today is Grumpy Rabbit. Where is he? Hello, children! Are you ready to exercise? Yes, Grumpy Rabbit. Ah, 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 ah. Do we have to do that? No, that's only for big athletes like me. 
Uh, not for little explorers like you. We're not explorers. I'll make explorers of you, but you, you look like a superhero. Uh, it's just pretend. Pretending? That's good. Right, let's warm up. Everyone, run on the spot. <laughs> and clap your arms. <laughs> now, stretch. Stretch. Wobble like a jelly. <laughs> and rest. Now we're all warmed up, we can start. Start what? Your adventure. I want you to pretend that this room is a jungle. It doesn't look like a jungle. Where are the trees? You have to imagine it. The trees, the rain, the fast-flowing river at your feet. Your first adventure is to walk on this beam across the river. Well, that's easy. Ah, but it's night time and it's windy. <sighs> what? That's how it was for me. It was a dark and stormy night. I was on an adventure. Ready? <laughs> but it's not windy or night time. You have to pretend. Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. And my little explorers. What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit. Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> Ready? Don't forget to do the call. <laughs> Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done. What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it, like this. But you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Have you crawled through a dinosaur's legs, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, yes. Once I was walking in the jungle when I stumbled into a lost world of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! You've made it out of the jungle! Hooray! Aho! Uh -huh. Did you have a good gym class, children? Yes, Madam Gazelle. They're real little explorers now. We walked across a river. And we swung over crocodiles. And we crawled under a dinosaur. I love doing gym class with Grampy Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>